Talking to Al Leiter, former Major League Baseball pitcher and analyst for a Major League Baseball Network. And I, I didn't understand this either, Al. Let's say somebody hits two home runs off of you. The next guy who comes up, who hasn't done anything to you, gets dusted, okay. or you might hit him. So explain that one to me through the lens of a pitcher. All right, so I've never done that. I, I always felt like uh, I'm, you know, I just either not good enough or I just would make a bad pitches. The, the, the explanation is is that you have personalities and people and 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 humans that are that have emotions and it's not justified. I I completely I've never done that. Um, but you have a guy in the mound, he's pissed. I mean, there's no other way of saying it. And what's the way to to vent it? You, yeah, I'm gonna hit this guy. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna throw at a guy. Not not right. Um, it's wrong. But listen, you're, I'm on the mound. I feel like I'm getting worn out. I can't get you out. I'm mad, <laughs> and I'm going to come inside. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, kind of a big baby, actually. Yeah, but a hitter's not allowed to do anything. Let's say you're striking out, you know, 12, 14 guys. It's not like a hitter can go, you know what? I'm going to make you uncomfortable on the mound. I'm going to go out there with my hat. You can't do it. Right. Who was the last guy who did that? No, we have to go back to Burt Campanaris, but was it somebody recently, right? So threw a bat. Was that Machado? Somebody threw a bat. I forget when. Yeah, I'm um, not sure. Right. So I, I, I've seen that, uh, you know, where, uh, <laughs> you know, listen, I, I, it's hard for me because I, I hit guys. I came in a lot. That was my MO to right handed batter. So I don't know whether people just, just knew that that was kind of how I threw. And I came in hard. I mean, I remember hitting Manny Ramirez on no two pitch in the helmet. The ball flew into the stands. This was at the Jake in Cleveland. Um, clearly not on purpose. I've hit a lot of guys. I hit Jim Rice on the kneecap. I thought he was going to come out and twist me like a pretzel and beat me up. But did you ever apologize or put your hand up to say, hey, my in the moment, just to say, sorry. So here, I will tell you, uh, Arania, I, I didn't like the body language. That did say like, oh, yeah? Yeah. So what? <laughs> you know, so there was a little tough guy element, which there's a whole – bravado machismo thing to this anyway yeah i would i would i it, it's a fine line dan because you don't want to do like what the little league kid did you know i thought it was cute as heck but you know a kid hits a home run he high fives him as he's going around the bases like <laughs> yeah. you know somewhere between that and you know arena you know you don't want you kind of want to show hey man i'm bad i'm sorry but most of the time it, it, it's futile because the hitter is pissed He's mad that he got hit. Every hitter thinks every pitcher has unbelievable command and, and impeccable control. So every time they get hit, they think most of the guys think it's on purpose, which is not. Um, so they're mad. So what are you going to do? You're going to wave at him, say, hey, my bad. I, you know, I'm sorry. Th- there's, a, there's a little line there of you can look like you're upset uh, without going overboard with, you know, and then also without making it look like I did it on purpose. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.